Right, Friday morning, back out here to finish this deck up. So I just got this first stair railing section in. Still gotta do that little one up there, and then of course cut this post down. But I'm gonna show you guys how this railing system works while I work on this side right here. So I think I've showed before, the this entire system is pretty much completely hidden fasteners. From down here, you can actually see up top, the only thing, the only fasteners you see are every few baluster spaces. You see that one screw that's holding this top cap rail onto the support rail section. So I'm gonna show you how the whole system goes together and how I've built a couple of little tips and tricks that I've figured out over the years of installing these railing systems on these decks. And it should be a pretty quick job to get the rest of these two sections done. And then I gotta go hang the TV as well. Uh, client requested we do that. And that'll be it, it'll be Friday afternoon. I'm trying to go fishing today. We'll see if I get out of here in time for it, but get this thing wrapped up so I've already got all of my balusters cut <clears throat> while I had the stop set up I went ahead and did all of that and this is my miter saw set up we've got the the chop saw saw hood and the best fence uh, cutting system that are that's made by fast cap I, don't, I think you can see it printed right there maybe but super awesome system you get really good support on both sides these are 60 inch long I call them wings they're just aluminum extrusions that hold your material but these stops are super easily adjustable you just loosen this knob here and this knob here and allows it to slide back and forth but it can also just slip up out of the way if you need to cut something else when you need before you want to move your stop location but all I'm doing is just I would set a baluster up on set it up here you know before the angles cut and the saw is set to the appropriate angle. So I'm chopping it that way and then just flip it around where now we have that side there and do it again on this side. So pretty pretty quick to get all these cut down. They're of course just square like that when they come in the box. Um, but now that I've got all my balusters cut, these are the railing components. So for the 10 foot sections like this, this one right here is actually aluminum and it goes at the bottom. It's a little bit different for the, it's a, it's slightly more complicated on the stair sections, but it's not horrible. So we're gonna start by carrying this thing over there. So for the bottom support rail, all you do is set it in place like this. And I just let it sit right on top of this, the stair cap. And then I'm gonna use a pencil and mark the inside edge of it right here where it contacts the post which gives me my my cut length and also the angle that i need to cut just like that so over here on the saw you can see the two marks so all i need to do is adjust and i'll do this with both hands when i set the camera down but basically just spin the saw and line it up with a few test cuts working my way over towards the lines and get it to where I'm cutting off right next to the line without actually removing the line. And I always, after I cut, I always test fit every single piece to make sure the angles are right and it all lines up nice and perfectly, which this one did. So now I'm going to take it back over to the work table and get it pre-drilled for the mounting brackets to go on. Once it's cut to length, I uh, pre-drill and install this bracket right here. And it this part actually pivots. If it wasn't screwed down tight, it would pivot. But this white part will pivot on here because when you're doing these sections on like all these normal horizontal rails, of course, this is not an angled cut. It's just a straight cut. So this is more lined up like so. But then it allows you to adjust it for whatever degree pitch or slope that your stairs are at. and then this bracket actually go, or this rail actually goes vertical on the stair sections because it's essentially an I-beam and it's stronger that way. And then it sits flat like here on the horizontal sections. All right, so then through that white plastic piece, we've got two long green screws that are actually what hold the bracket into the post. So I always lift up on it slightly 
because the cap that sits down over the top of this will overlap this rail just a little bit and that way it's not actually being held up by the nose of the stair treads so i always pick up on it just a little bit and get my holes drilled and then screw it in and then do the same thing at the bottom We go so once this is in place the bottom support rail is in place i'll use my laser measurer to shoot the length from the top of the rail all the way down to the bottom so now i've got my distance measurement but then one of the things that i started doing last year um, as a way to improve the accuracy of all of my finish up cuts or like the cap pieces that go over top of the support rail is I will save a scrap piece and I mark it which slides left and which slides right and I will make as many cuts as I need to on this piece to get it right where that it sits super tight and clean like that on all sides and this is just set at the same angle that it was from that side so this is going to work for the bottom and the left side on this one and then I'll slide it up here and it should work up here as well nice and clean Sometimes these these post sleeves have a little bit of play in them, like so. They can they move around a little bit on the post, so they're not perfectly tight. So sometimes that just results in a slightly different angle, top to bottom on one post, if one post isn't perfectly plumb. Um, and it doesn't matter for the support rail because it gets covered up. But when we do the cap rail, both the bottom cap and the top cap, I want them to be nice and tight so they look good. So one of the other really important things with, the, with this bottom cap rail is that because it comes pre-drilled, I have to make sure that I am centering the whole pattern on the overall length of the piece. It didn't matter for the bottom rail because it's getting covered up again. But here, I have to pull, either figure out if a hole is going to be my center point or midway between two holes is going to be my center point. And in this case, it's midway between two holes. And so I end up with a mark right here. And this same distance away from this hole is what I'll have down here. And if you forget to do that, you uh, need to order a new rail section. Don't ask me how I know and it's totally not been more than once that I've made that mistake just for the record and then once I made my cut I'll always bring it over and test fit and it looks awesome top and bottom so now I will go cut the other rail all right so after confirming that the cap piece fits this is now the top support rail and this one is actually just the same normal composite material as all the rest of it. And it does not have holes in it because I have to drill the holes at the appropriate angle through both of these pieces. So I'm just going to cut the bottom support, or uh, excuse me, I'm going to cut the top support rail to the same length. And then I'll clamp them together and drill the holes. So now I'm just going to use this, uh, this block that's cut at the same angle. And through the holes that are already pre-drilled at a... 90 degree angle, I'm going to drill these new holes all the way down through the second. Like so. Alright, it's all screwed together. Time to go set it in. All right, so then to install the handrail, there's two components. This part goes on the inside, and like you can see, it pivots to allow for the angle. So that'll go on the inside here. But then this little block here gets attached on the outside. Basically just line it up and then rotate the railing out of the way and pre-drill it 
and this is just an extra there's two screws to the other part as well but this one having two screws in it is a block that just prevents this from moving out anymore it just basically doubles the strength of this upper rail so that if somebody falls against it it's for, there's four screws going into the post here instead of just two so it's a little bit stronger all right it's installed now so like i said you got the little mounting block essentially that prevents the rail from swinging outward and then the normal bracket on the inside which ties it all together so then i'm going to do the same thing with the top rail that i did with the bottom cap and use this piece to line up cuts so like that's the cut that i did on the other side it's not going to work for this side so i'll tweak it and make it perfect and then measure and cut top row. All right, here we go, it's all done. Put that TV up today, and the client had all their furniture and stuff put in here already, so looking awesome, looking like an actual usable space. The client is gonna install the ceiling fan when that comes in. But aside from that, it's all done in here. Everything's all nice and trimmed out. Looking super cool. Client also went ahead and strung up there her, uh, her little string lights. So I'm sure it looks pretty cool out here at night, but it's way too bright out here for that today. And we've also got our gutter uh, contractor is gonna come out and put gutters on here in a couple weeks. But other than that, it's all done out here. We, uh, I got the railings put on, stair railings are on, and everything's looking sweet. Really, really love the black balusters with the right white railings. It looks, uh, looks super cool. And of course, screen on everything. Hopefully it looks like it was always there. It's the idea with stuff like this. Match all the existing trim and details as much as possible and make it look like it was always there. Looks super clean. Turned out really awesome. So I'll leave you with the drone shot on the way out, of course, like I usually do on stuff like this. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, I am rolling, this is a Friday, and first thing Monday, I'm rolling right back into a, another deck project. So this is gonna be another, it's different, it's, it's, a, it's screen porches, but it's a, it's, it's a multi-level, multi-level deck job. So that'll be something different, and hope you guys enjoy the videos that I'll put out on that build. But until then, thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, feel free to drop a comment if you want. Uh, follow us on Instagram. I post on there fairly regularly. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.